Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I was watching a video by Squirt Dude about how to use uh, fishing rods to trigger levers in Minecraft, and it gave me the idea for grappling hooks using fishing rods. And so here we've got the uh, the grappling hook using the fishing rod, and whenever you see a uh, pressure plate on top of a fence like this, it's a post that you can hook onto with that grappling hook. Pretty cool. It works both up and down, although honestly, it's a little bit easier to trigger when going upwards. But there we go, got it. Requires a little bit of precise timing and aim, so uh, pretty cool though. Uh, let me hop into creative mode and I can kind of show you what's going on with the redstone. This is all the redstone that runs for these three uh, these three posts, and basically each column here is one of the three posts, and then this column over here is for the fishing rod. So let me hop actually into game mode two again. When I use the fishing rod, you'll notice this line triggers, and uh, and then I get a new fishing rod. What's going on here is it's clearing item 346, which is the fishing rod, uh, with, a da with a damage value of 2. So only once it has 2 damage on it, which is what happens when you reel it back in after it hits the ground, does this get triggered, and it clears it away. And that will actually go ahead and give you a new fishing rod called Grappling Hook. And... Uh, it also spawns a redstone block over there, and you'll see in a sec, so when I pull this back in, it spawns a redstone block over there for a second, and that's important to how it works. Now, there's also these guys, um, let me hop back into creative, there's also these guys that uh, that are using test for a block, and this, that's the new command in week 37. Uh, it, it's basically testing for depressed pressure plates here. So when I press this pressure plate, you'll see we get a little monostable pulse out of that one, and and similarly for these two, uh, you see the piston go up and there's a little pulse. Um, so it's testing for that pressed pressure plate, so we can actually sense that the pressure plate has been pressed from far away, which is pretty cool. And so we're testing for that, there's a little pulse out here. Now it goes through this comparator in subtraction mode, which is currently being suppressed by these torches. It's not going to be able to output a pulse because there's a there's an input of 15 on the side, so, um, but remember that the redstone block that spawned here when you use the fishing rod, uh, it'll basically turn off these torches, so it allows the pulse to go through the comparator. And uh, let me again show you that. So when I pull that, the the redstone line here turns off. The comparator can now pulse through if it has an input. So what what the end result is if you have the pressure plate up there getting depressed at the same time as the fishing rod getting used, you get a pulse that goes all the way through to this command block, which teleports the player onto the platform. And it always teleports the player to the same spot on the platform. It doesn't like choose the nearest side of the player or something. Oops, that was interesting. Um, and yeah, it does require a bit of precise timing. So if you manage to get it in the thing, but don't pull it back soon enough, it's not gonna teleport you. So uh, you do have to pull it back very quickly. There we go, like that. Uh, but it's pretty cool. You can you can uh, build a grappling hook in Minecraft using this technique. Very useful for adventure maps. This is very similar to the concept of a grappling hook from Zelda. I guess it's also pretty good because a fishing rod can be used to hook mobs and pull them towards you, which is also like the grappling hook in Zelda. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, neat concept, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.